guys, it's Di, and this is the UK part of the US-UK swap that I did with one of our family members that is over here visiting right now, and we are having a great time, and it's nice to just catch up with everyone in person and not have to Skype and that sort of thing, but she brought me some amazing things from the UK, and I wanted to share them with you guys. The main brand that I wanted to check out was Sleek, and she brought me a ton of Sleek items, and everything is so amazing that she got me. I feel bad about what I got her, and now I want to go buy her more stuff because these sleek items are amazing they should be selling this brand in America but anyhow she bought me two palettes of eyeshadows and I will show you this to you in a minute she got the infamous blush palette I believe I've seen this on some UK channels where people like say like oh they look really scary but they you know look lovely on don't worry about it and um, this has been really really cool to use so it's the pumpkin palette. And then she also got me two sleek lipsticks, which I have loved using. And then also two natural collection, which I believe is sold by Boots over in the UK, lip glosses. And this lip gloss in particular, sure. Sherbert Fizz, is like my all-time new favorite lip gloss. I love this thing. I'm going to have to like outsource this every single time we have family come over they're gonna have to bring me this lip gloss so anyhow I will show you everything up close and in person I'm wearing pretty much like everything I'm wearing right now is all sleek and stuff that I was brought so um, everything has really like just turned out amazing I love so it. first off the eyeshadow palette she brought me the storm palette which is number 578 and the oh so special palette which is 658 and I believe she got these at super drug in the UK and I believe the price on them is around like $9.99 or $7.99 so £7.99 or £9.99 hopefully I'm saying that right for you guys in the UK um, so it's like a pretty decent price palette but there are a ton of dupes in these for Urban Decay and like shadows that I would use every day so they look really cool the packaging reminds me a lot of NARS and so the palettes this is what they look like on the outside and it's really nice because they have all the information you need right here on the back. So that way when you get rid of this packaging, you can still figure out what you have, which is really, really nice. It has it down here at the bottom. So I'll use the second palette to cover up the mirror because there's a big mirror here at the bottom. I don't want my lights to blind you. But um, this is the Oso oh Special palette. And it's got some great pink colors. I love that there's just a mix of shimmery colors and mate colors. And I'd say probably so far my favorites are this one right here. It's like a shimmery color. And it really is almost kind of like a dupe for Sin. I've been using that one a ton. And then also this color over here is just a great kind of matte like taupey color I've been using that one a lot as well and then this one right here is a shimmery tan color this one did have the color names the other one did not so I can tell you the color names of these so the colors that I have been really been loving are organza gift basket and wrapped up in that one and then the next eye divine palette is storm 578 and this one is amazing as well this one I unfortunately don't have the names for the individual colors but this one has a ton of colors that I would use like pretty much every day. It comes with this little wand. I've just been using my eye brush, um, my regular one that I use with my other Urban Decay palettes. But I have been using these two colors down here, which if you're looking at it right ways up would be these two right here a ton. This is like a shimmery color. It's It reminds me of Booty Call. If you guys remember uh, Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. I really love that one. And this one reminds me of Buck also in the Naked 2 palette. So this one is really great for some dupes. I also love this kind of matte taupey color down here. And it's got some great shimmer colors. I haven't played with like the blues yet, but I have used this kind of color down here. This reminds me of Toasted from the Naked 2 palette. So really just some awesome, awesome colors there. So you can see there's just a lot of variety in these two palettes. And then this is the infamous Blush by 3 and Pumpkin 636. It's got Lantern Squash and Pumpkin Pie in it. And this is just what everyone says it's going to be. It looks so scary when you first open it. You're like, oh, it's so bright. But the colors are amazing. You just have to get a little bit. I've been using my NARS blush brush with this because it has the ability to pick up a lot of powder or just a little bit if you don't want it to be that much. But this corally color down here, I have used a ton. And so you can see that you can really kind of build on it as much as you want. 
And so that one's going to be a great color. And I find if I put too much on, like if I get it on my cheeks and I put too much on, I'm trying to overdo it right now, so hopefully you guys can see it. But if I put too much on, I basically just go over it with my tart powder and that helps kind of dial it down a little bit because they are like super pigmented and it can be super bright. But they look very lovely. Now this next one is the color I'm wearing right now. This is squash. I'm just going to put it down here at the bottom. And you can see that it is just a really nice kind of daytime pink color. It looks super scary neon pink in the pan. But once you have it on your cheeks, it's just just a really nice like daytime color. Now, I will admit, I'm super scared of this one down at the end. It's orange. It's lantern. I have not tried that one yet, but these two on the side are absolutely amazing. This palette is fantastic. And then she also got me two lip products by Sleek. These are the True Color Lipstick. This one is 776 Barely There, and you guys can see the packaging for these. It's just really, really lovely packaging. I love it. And then the inside packaging is really cool as well. I would love to see these down inside my purse. It's just a really nice kind of sleek packaging, hence the name, I'm sure. Um, but this one is 775 Liqueur, and I love this one. This one is my absolute favorite. This one is the one I'm wearing right now, and it's kind of along the lines of almost a dupe for a color that was discontinued by Too Faced about six months ago that I really, really loved. This is just kind of a um, neutrally pink color, and you can see that it's really great. If you just put a gloss over it, that's really all you need. That's a great daytime look. I love that one. So that one's Liqueur 775. And then this one's a great spring-summer color. This one is the Barely There 776. And then this one's got a little bit more of a curly undertone to it. And so you can see that there's a little bit of a subtle difference there. But these two are great colors for spring and summer. So I'm really loving wearing these so far. And the consistency is nice and soft. It is uh, pretty long lasting actually. Lipstick I have a hard time lasting on me. And it'll last a few hours which is a long time for me. So it is nice and soft and just a really great consistency to work with. I am loving all the sleep products. In fact we have people from England coming over to visit us um, at the end of the summer and they've already offered to bring me some things over if I find some things I love which I will probably definitely be taking her up on it. But I honestly love these enough. I don't know why I haven't tried them before now, but I would say that these are worth ordering and paying like the import fees or the, I'm sure the ridiculous shipping uh, to try them over here in the States because they are so good. I love them that much. So just if you've been on the fence about trying them and you're in the States, I would say go ahead and try it. It is worth the you know probably additional money that we have to spend on shipping and whatnot. So then the last thing are these two natural collection lip glosses. She did such a great job of coordinating everything. Like I was just like, oh, that looks cute, throw it in the bag. Oh, that looks cute, throw it in the bag. She coordinated everything. There's like two lip glosses, two lipsticks, two eyeshadow palettes. So I'm like, oh, I feel bad. I should have coordinated mine a little bit better. But anyhow, these are great also. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this lip gloss may be my all-time, like of all the lip glosses I use, all-time favorite right here. This is Sherbert Fizz. It's a great pinky color. The num There's no number on it and I believe you can get it at Boots and it's just, it's not sticky. It's soft. It's, it adds just a little bit of shine but then the smell of it, it smells like cotton candy. These are so they smell so good. It's lovely. And, you know, there's no taste to it. So it's really, really nice. I love the consistency of these. The other one is Juicy Lips, and this one is Raspberry Ripple. And this one's just a great kind of almost sheer color to put on over a lipstick. I always layer a lip gloss over my lipstick. So these two are going to work out perfectly. Love, love, love them. So you can see this is what the Sherbert looks like down here at the bottom. This adds a little bit of pink to the lipstick colors. And then this is the Raspberry Ripple. And I would definitely use this, like you can tell, you can't even see it on my skin, it's just basically clear. I would just use this for some shine, so like especially over this Barely There lipstick that's like a coral, I would just use this to add some shine. So that is the UK part of the US UK swap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I think the items that she brought me are amazing. In fact, I'm going to be going shopping and getting her a few more items because the things that she brought me are so amazing. And a few of the items that I got her I hadn't tried out and so I tried them and I like the Wet n Wild stuff. But this stuff is so much more amazing. This stuff is just, it's great. And I don't even know what we have comparable because uh, like NYC, Wet n Wild, 
Ramel, none of those like brands, nothing is comparable to this in my opinion. Um, this is really along the lines of like more like Urban Decay, but I believe if, if I have this correct, this is better priced than like Urban Decay. So you're really getting a good deal. So I absolutely love the Sleek Items, one of my new favorite brands, and um, they've gotten me hooked on UK makeup now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.